Greetings. This is Greg at Tesla Fan Insight. My talk today is focused on the on the, the short squeeze that's going on right now with the stock of Tesla. And I, we're at a critical juncture just before the introduction of the Model 3. And I think it's going to force the stock in many directions depending on how things work out. This is Greg at Tesla Fan Insight. Bonjour, the guest is still not in all spy binding. Strasvice, Nihao Ma, Guten Tag. So there's a concept in the stock market called a short squeeze. And what this is, is that there are people who are hoping that Tesla's stock price will fall. And the agenda regarding this is if the stock price falls, they make a great deal of money. So right now, Tesla is one of the most shorted stocks anywhere uh, in the world in terms of the number of shares. I believe 25% of its shares currently have been shorted. So what happens is there's a concept called a short squeeze. And what this is, is that those people who've borrowed those shares and shorted them will now if the stock continues to rise as it has been, particularly if it goes up explosively, those people will have to close out their position and, um, and if you will, end their short activities. This process uh, can and will force the stock price up. Of a, so if a company's stock price starts rising, the people who have shorted the stock have a choice to make. They can close the position out, which is to buy uh, the shares in order to close out the position, A, or B, they can uh, hope and pray and, and stay in the stock long term, hoping that the downdraft in the stock price uh, will occur. Um, I, I, I'm sort of bringing up this topic a little bit about shorting because one of the big challenges happening in the stock market right now is the fact that a lot of people have chosen to go towards index funds where all they do is buy in and allow the mar and and sort of ride the market rather than having a professional manager in place so as a result uh, there are a lot of folks who are hedge fund managers or other active managers that are looking for ways to increase their returns and one of them is to get involved with shorting uh, stocks and uh, you know you can demonstrate your skill as a stock picker uh, better in, it, in arenas like this. So I'm bringing up the Tesla situation because I've been investing and trading in the stock market for 30 years and I'm really amazed by the choice to short Tesla because I believe Tesla is one of the worst companies uh, in the history of shorting to short. And the main reason is that you have a company that has a monopoly uh, in an area and it's entering new areas like trucking and even uh, some of the power production things they're doing are unique, uh, particularly with the, the rapid installation of batteries. So. Usually when you're shorting a company, you have a situation where a company is operating and new competitors arrive and all of a sudden you anticipate their stock price falling or rising dramatically if it's a new product or a drug or something like that. In the case of Tesla, I just think it's a horrible stock to, to short. And as a result, I expect um, that the entry of the Model 3 will help the stock price. But particularly once we hear about the orders for trucks, that's when I think we'll see huge bump ups in the price of the stock. So bottom line is in this short squeeze case, I expect to see a huge amount of uh, Tesla induced increase in stock price. And this increase in stock price will result in those short squeezers having to get out of the market. So in essence, what this means is that there are a lot of people that have to buy the stock, particularly as it rises and if it rises dramatically. I think that um, you'll see a rise in the stock price that'll be sudden and dramatic. And then uh, 
as those short squeezers have purchased their shares, um, you'll start to see the stock decline again, even though there'll be a lot of good news to support uh, the stock going forward. So I think the peak of this activity is probably going to be at the end of uh, 2017 in, in August, headed towards the announcement of trucks. And then just after we find out uh, what happens with the trucks and the orders that they've re received, a lot of people will end up having to do discounted cash flows on what those orders were. And uh, all of a sudden that'll add to the stock price as well. So if you're a Tesla stock owner, 